great way to supplement and just something extra special to spark the kids interest to say you know this isn't something you get to see every day it's not your normal you know we don't go to the moon we haven't been to the moon since 1972 so. this one's the meteorite sample now these you can find in on the in the u.s and they find them all the time and we're going to look at next week exactly how you might find it find where they're at would you find something like that from like in russia from when that you would probably find um, these three, a lot of these three. And you would find anything from a lot of this size or even smaller, all the way up. They'll find chunks like this or bigger. And to say that they're valuable, um, there's a show called Meteorite Men, and they go out and they search for them. So they know where, like to that Russian one, they know how it hit, how it expanded out, and they kind of can then search that area. They do typically go to Australia, where there's been a lot of meteorite hits, and they use your radar or um, what are they called? Metal detectors, because there's mostly iron in them. All these samples will have a lot of iron in them, so they can use a metal detector and find them, and they make a living at it. See how light it is? Okay, it floats. Okay. That's the same type of thing that this orange soil is. It's the exact same stuff, except on the moon, it's not quite, it doesn't have as uh, much density. As, yeah. It's just going to be as thin. It's not going to be there just because it's had two and a half million years to just sit there. It hasn't worn down or anything, but it's been hit by other impact craters and other meteors coming and hitting it. So it's just, it's mostly fine dust now. With our student population, vacations going to Florida, going to uh, Texas is not a normal thing. But to actually like take a vacation to go to Kennedy Space Center or go to Goddard in Ohio or somewhere, or to go see a launch of a, a rocket isn't a normal thing, but to be able to provide that kind of opportunity to say, hey, this is what's possible. Uh, we are still doing this, it's getting privatized more and more, but private companies are going to be looking for people interested in space travel, interested in the engineering that it's going to take.